today where there is new video showing what appears to be the moments a student was attacked in the high school hallway, sending the school into lockdown. Today, we spoke to the mother of the victim who is pleading with the school and with law enforcement to do more to protect her child. ABC 6 News reporter Laura Puglisi joins us live in the studio with more. Laura? Well, Doreen, the superintendent and police both say no weapons were involved and that an object that looks like a knife was actually a cell phone. But the mother tells a different story and wants officials to take the incident more seriously. Not one teacher, not one principal, not one person did anything for my son to not continue to be attacked while he was down. A plea for help by this Woonsocket mom after a video circulates showing her 17 year old son being attacked in the hallways of the high school. <laughs> Police say it happened on Friday. The school sent into lockdown an investigation now underway. That video just even watching it upset at me as the parent because I was in disbelief total disbelief. In the video, you can see a group of students fighting while one person appears to be on the ground. Several racial slurs are said and at one point an object is thrown to the side. Police and school officials say it was a cell phone. One student was charged with felony assault for using that phone as a blunt object. But Costa says that wasn't the only weapon involved. In the video, you can see where my child is on the ground being kicked in his head numerous times. Um, the children used brass knuckles, a belt buckle. They, my son had welts on his back. Um, also a box cutter. Costa says she reached out to police and the school department several times, but feels like she isn't being heard. She wants more action to be taken against the students. Police say they are actively identifying and charging those involved. They're suspended for three days. They're not being expelled. They're facing just disorderly conduct. I need something more than that done. Now we did reach out to the superintendent's office for more information and for comment on what that mother said, but we haven't heard back yet. Live in the newsroom, I'm Laura Puglisi, ABC 6 News.